Pittman? Like, excluding uh, Pittman? I mean, that that's if Pikmin is, though. For me, it'd probably be a Mario game. I don't know exactly which one, though. Maybe, like, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It's a game I'm kind of thinking of, but it's like... Do I really call it my favorite? Yeah. It's like, I it's like not... so many games, but I don't really have a favorite that is a Pikmin. Pikmin 2. Yeah. It's like, I like the I don't think I could ever actually call it my favorite. I don't know why. Just can't. Um, I'll probably sound like something like Dark Souls or like Breath of the Wild. The amount of bomb locks they allow you to have here. Actually, I remember a trick. Can I bomb lock the to instant plug it? Yes, I can. Like, I just got a bunch of- I just cleared out the area, like, the area, I think you know what I'm talking about. What's the, uh, uh, all bear? Oh yeah, the one with, like, the ten bongs. Yep. Oh, oh. Okay. That's- that's why I remember that happened. I remember, I was playing Pikmin 1, one of my bomb marks got on fire, and I was like, why didn't that explode? Because that wasn't a feature, but it is a feature in Pikmin 2, in Pikmin. Yes. Um, FTO, is that... Are that on my wish list on Steam? Six twenty six, that's pretty good. I don't know what my favorite game is outside of Pikmin. Like, I, I still, I'm still like thinking about it. I don't really know. Yeah. Like I have a bunch of time in a few games. Um. I just like I wouldn't call them my favorite though. Like for instance, I have over a thousand hours in Geometry Dash, but I wouldn't call that my favorite game. <laughs> It's a game that I like yeah. a lot. But no you got play. Have you guys played Portal? Portal? Uh, no, yeah. unfortunately. I want to play all the Valve games at some point because I haven't played any of them. And they, they're all like good games. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I remember the, I saw uh, the. Portal 1 and 2 on special, and I got them both for like 3 dollars. Like in total. So that'd be like. Pretty much be a dollar for you guys. <laughs> for both Portal games. And I mean, like, I don't know why I didn't play them out. It's actually. They're all really good. Really good games. I haven't. I haven't actually finished Portal 2, but Portal is a really good game. I, like, I immediately started playing Portal 2 after I finished Portal 1 and I got a bit burnt out from too much Portal. <laughs> so I just haven't played it since. But I'll probably play it like soon.
<laughs> I mean, I'm definitely going to finish the game. I'm reading chat. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to finish it at some point. Oh, but like, I'll, so I've got a few games recently that I've been playing. Like, I've got get, uh, Getting Over It. You guys heard of that? Oh, I've heard of that game. That game's a game. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a game. Boys, I'm gonna... Uh, get that uh, nice lock in the U, Calamity. Yeah. Thanks. Let's see ya. Oh, oh. Cool. Why doesn't it show what that is? It's just like a bunch of sort of star looking things. What is that? In chat. In chat, is, is that just a bunch of star looking things or is that like, is my chat like blocking out like words? I'm not exactly sure because I don't see a bunch of star looking things. Also, like, I definitely messed something up. This is the, the Sonic game, yeah. I don't know what it says, I can't see it. It's not showing me for some reason. If I click it, it like, do anything. It's all the blues. I'm oh. missing. Oh, okay. I'm definitely missing something. There's no way. Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, okay, here comes this guy. Whatever, good enough. We were talking about that before. How do these guys, like, fit? <laughs> Things in the house. It's like the yeah, giant pear comes out of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did that it's, like, it's, not, it's like it, it's, it's like yeah, it's a pear, but it's like pears aren't like that hard. They're like I mean, they they can be. Like, I'd imagine if it was inside of a creature, wouldn't it be like eaten up and sort of. It's, it's just like, like swallowed it whole. Yeah, it's not moldy. It's not damaged. It's not like wet. It's just dry, undamaged pear has gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like blue. It's like the only. It's like the only fruit that isn't a big old fruit is like the watermelon it's all in little bits from the, um, well no because it did it swallowed um, that hole but it just like it hit the ground and broke open I mean, it comes out of, yeah yeah actually yeah it has an entire watermelon inside of it which is uh, literally the instant it was, yeah. yeah. It, it phases through that, yeah. That, that, I, I guess that's more evidence to say that the, um, the, um, phas, uh, the plasm wraith is controlling everything, it's all just made of goop. Because these things swallow them, but they don't damage slash, like, digest them. They just go into it, and then when the things die, it just, like, phases through. Yeah, it could probably consume a man. Maybe. But, like, the body size doesn't look right when it's, like, laying on the ground. Like, you could definitely stretch it to fit the melon in there. But it's just, like, it's not wide enough, like, where the melon is there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that crab that's right before the, um, Maya Clops has the full avocado in it. <laughs> The, um, and from it, like just from like a gameplay perspective, like it does look cool like, having this big fruit coming out of a, like a boss enemy. But it's just like it doesn't make any sense at all. Like the dragon fruit that comes out of the armored Mordad. Like that thing's definitely wider. And has like a bigger circumference. Anyway. 
Then... And it's not like eating it, it got wider. It still has the thing on it. And I'm pretty sure like dragon fruit is very, like a fairly like hard fruit. It's not like squishy, so it wouldn't just be like squished. In yeah. It. So like a watermelon. Like the watermelon would be it could be in there undamaged, I get that bit, but the mere slug would be all round with a watermelon. <laughs> yeah, it had a phone and the, yeah, the armored Mordad had a phone and a uh, thing. Oh, that's a bit cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, just minus fifty-one casually. <laughs> casually, just like not a big deal, but like super good pace. Yeah. For me, at least. Like, this can still be improved by a lot. My sum of best... You got TARDIS, but... My sum of best is still, like, not even 15. Sub-15. Unless the fruit aren't real either. And it just, like, the, the energy inside of it decides to make a fruit, because these guys are looking for fruit. They're that desperate to look for fruit, they don't care to question why. <laughs> yeah, they drink the juice. Did they eat anything? Yeah, w w actually, why do they collect the gold for it? <laughs> they made of salt gold. I mean, in this, in this game, oh. it's just like... They never shoot. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. <nothing> <laughs> I mean, like, when you're at the, the middle of it, all the enemies, like, go into gold stuff, and they look like they're normal. And the reasoning I think they burst into gold is because the plasma ray specifically needs the additional energy and they don't want to just leave the corpses there. Um. If they, 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 they must have like, they, they must have a pretty good filter on the juice to, juice though. Because like some of the things, like the oranges and that would have like a pulp in it if they weren't filtering like just the liquid. So I'm sure like, theoretically they could just, I guess, but they'd have to have like no pulp at all, like no real solidity sort of stuff. Otherwise they'd have to. I mean, you never see them at night. I mean, the Piclopedia and Olimar's explanation for things is just what Olimar has theorised about those things, and not what actually is what those things are. So. <laughs> well, no, but the, the readings could be off because the plasm wraith is making illusions. Like the fact that they can make the plasm wraith can make the illusionary creatures in the first place, it could probably mess with the readings even Ooh. to just say that the foot have these vitamins in them instead of like actually having them in there. All right, this is a uh, PB definitely. Maybe sub-15, potentially? What is Pictum in you? <laughs> I always thought it was a currency. No, it's like a, it's like a, Pictum in you, it's like the car, uh, the like vitamin that's in the fruit. It's like a joke because of the like, 
Wii U. Pikmin Wii U. There we go, that's uh, 1455. Um, I'll get a lower 14 in the future. <laughs> Olamite is an unreasonable narrator in quotations. Well, yeah, if any 